Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's Babs and Spotlight. Shay Cost. Say hello to everyone, Shay. Hello, everybody. Now, we have Shay here today because she runs a fantastic website called Puck Stats. Um, and it's, it's, you want to tell them a little bit about what Puck Stats is all about? Yes, kind of I would love to. Puck Stats is a hockey website that shares hockey information about the players, about the stats, and includes my own stat system as well. You could see the players' birthdays, you could see their ages, totally a hundred million things about hockey. So, um, since we're in a nice little WebEx environment, do you actually want to share your screen so that they can kind of get a, a taste of what the website looks and feels like? Yes. So, you could tell I'm a Rangers fan from New York. Here is the basic homepage of the website. Ooh. I mean, this looks really cool. So, something that I uh, I caught you say in your explanation of it is you actually have your own stat system. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, what your stat system is and how it varies from like the normal hockey stat system? Yeah. So, in normal hockey, they basically only show goals and assists, which is really awesome, and it shows a lot about players, but. Something that my stat system shows is giveaways, takeaways, block shots. And if you don't know anything about hockey, those are just the stats that are really detailed. So it basically shows the second-to-second -second things that a hockey player does. So this is just a breakthrough of my stat system. Higher points is better. You could see what everything means. If you fight someone, you get a point because it hypes up your team. So, so kind of what your stat system does is it doesn't necessarily take into account uh, scoring points. It takes into account, like, making winning plays. Making winning plays. It just shows everything that the NHL does not show. Yeah, that's actually a, a super cool thing. And so I love the look and the feel of your website. Thank you. Because now that we've seen this amazing website and this really cool stat system that you've got, kind of what's the origin story for it? How did it all start? Yeah. So when I was in elementary school, my dad took my brother and I to our first hockey game. I was probably nine years old. My brother was seven. And we went to our first Ranger Islander game, which is the biggest rivalry in the NHL. And instead of falling in love with the game, I actually fell in love with the players. So I wanted to learn more about each individual player and what each individual player was from, what they did, how they impacted the team. And... I started watching hockey games, specifically the Rangers, and I would go on my whiteboard and I would tally when each player did something good and what I considered to be good. And then once I looked at NHL, the website, I realized that they had an entire spreadsheet of goals, assists, block shots, what I was explaining in my stat system. So I started looking deeper into that and I created a whole system and I wanted to share it with people that loved hockey, people that were interested in this. And that's where it all started. So what's kind of been the result now that you've started sharing this? Like, are you seeing a strong community trying to, like, coalesce around, like, this this kind of new, interesting way of keeping a stat system? Yeah, so this is my third website, what I just showed you guys. I've had it recreated a bunch of times. And I haven't really noticed a huge following because it's definitely difficult when you're doing it all on your own to get a huge following. So I'm trying to work more at that, but... I've actually experienced professionals, so people who used to be hockey players and people who are working in the analytics business in hockey, they've taken a look at what my website and they've given me really awesome compliments and really great advice. So I'm working to, you know, listen to their advice, do more work on it, and we'll see what happens. That's incredible to, like, at this point in your career already uh, have, like, people from the industry reaching out, recognizing the work that you've done. That's so cool. So... Um, you know, maybe can you touch on like your favorite part about the website or your favorite part about running the website? Yes. So I spend six hours a day working on the website. <laughs> I would love to show you guys if I could share my screen again. My what absolute favorite part of the website. So now that's dedication. Six hours a day is incredible. People ask me, how do you have time to do your homework? I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> So this is my favorite part of the website, and it's not completely updated, but you could go to any single team you want, for instance, the Minnesota Wild, and you could see every single player and every single player in the NHL who they've been teammates with for their entire career and for how many years. So this is really cool because if, say that the Wild are playing the Bruins, you could go down to the bottom and see Wild versus Bruins. 
and these are all the players and all the players that they've played with. So it's a really cool connections page. It brings everything together and you can think, oh, they play together. Like when you're watching the game, you can see, oh, they had a little fight. This is why, because they're friends. So this is a really cool aspect. This part has taken me three years and we're still working on it. That's absolutely remarkable. The fact that, you know, you talk about you fell in love with the players and I, I think it really shows. I mean, that's storytelling at its finest to talk about not only did they used to be on this team, they used to be teammates with this player and this mm -hmm. is different. That's incredible. In the, Thank in you. The that into it. So I know you've talked on like a lot of things you've done, you know, it's gone through, through three different redesigns. It's uh, constantly a work in process. You know, you said six hours a day and it took three years to kind of compile the show. But what's been the hardest part uh, of running the website so far, the biggest challenge you faced and, and the things you're trying to overcome currently? Yeah, the biggest challenge I would say is just keeping up with it because I work on every single game in the NHL. So let's say there's eight games a night, which is the average amount of games there are per night. It takes me about 20 minutes to enter the, each game into my stat system. So it's really hard, especially with work and with schoolwork and social life. It's really, really difficult to keep up with it. And the worst is when you're three days behind and you're like, oh, no, I don't know if I could keep up with it. It's really difficult. So the hardest part is just keeping up with it. But honestly, when I look back to it, I think this is my favorite thing to do in the entire world. And there's nothing else I'd rather be doing on a Saturday night or even like a Monday morning. Any, any time. I love working on it. So even though it's a challenge to keep, to keep up with it, it's just it's so much fun. So it doesn't even feel like something that is like a something that I have to do. Well, I mean, that's, I think your, your passion for it and your work ethic in regards to it is absolutely incredible. And uh, I would go encourage everyone that's listening to this interview, everyone that's checking out the Babs and Spotlight to go take a look at Puck Stats, because uh, it's really a phenomenal story and a, a phenomenal side, as you can see. Uh, so I'd like to, to say thank you, everyone for listening. Shay, do you have any parting thoughts that you'd like to leave everyone with? If you want to learn more about hockey, check out Puck's, Puck Stats. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Callum. This was great. Oh, you've been wonderful, Shay. Um, so if you want to hear from more innovators, more entrepreneurs, more people who are dedicated and passionate about the things they're doing, go check out the rest of our interviews on the Bobson, Bobson, the Babson Spotlight YouTube and the Bobson. <laughs> Did I do it again? That's crazy. The Babson <laughs> Spotlight um, Instagram and our website. So... Thank you all for watching and listening. We hope you have a great rest of the week. Check back next week to see who is in the spotlight. Woohoo!